hi and welcome to this hangout with me, Yuri G and Sammy Falagar 517 and also Archmage Falagar ah. about absolutely <laughs> about the Rogue One first official you know full trailer and what do we think about it so Sammy you can start if you like oh yeah you know I saw it like what yesterday was it or a couple days ago and um, oh, what what I saw, I was very pleased and happy to see what I saw. I mean, first of all, Felicity Jones as the one you know, kind of in charge of um, you know stealing the Death Star plans. Uh, by the way, I think this is taking place um, between, or was it? I think it's before Star Wars, wasn't it? Yeah, because they're they're taking the Death Star plans. Yeah, yeah, this is taking Star place uh, just before, you know, they got the plans for the Death Star and this explains, uh, you know, how they got the plans. Yeah. So, you know, in the original movies, this is never really explained. They say that, you know, some rebels stole the plans, I think. Uh, and now we get to see, you know, all those rebels in action and what actually happened. And, of course, see Darth Vader, so it's very yes. exciting. And and I saw. Uh, did you see the martial arts scene with the Asian guy? That would be, of course, Donnie Yen. Oh yeah, no he's so stranger good. Stranger to martial arts. Oh god. Mm. I mean, obviously, I don't know. I don't think he's quite a Jedi, but he he kind of knew about it. You know, he kind of was talking about it. So I'm I'm looking forward to seeing that. You know, you know me all about the. I absolutely love my my martial arts. It doesn't have to be a martial arts film, but I could be watching Avengers and. Um, or let's say BVS, you know, and and something else. But I I love to have some martial arts thrown <laughs> thrown in there. Even <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean, I can I consider BVS has martial arts too because of that one scene in the thing. But this, you know, uh, you know the Batman. Um, but this, yeah, with Donnie Yen, and it's and you know I love Star Wars and 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 the lightsaber battles and stuff like that. Um, just looks great, and it looks like that she forms like a. Kind of like a ragtag team of people when she said, "Hey, thank you know, thank you for coming out with me." And then Donnie Yen stood up. It looks like they're in the back of a shuttlecraft, and um, you know, you have Donnie Yen and then, like her group of her team like kind of stands up. I absolutely love that. Oh, uh, yes, what do you yes. think of it? Oh, I think first of all that visually this is very amazing, and it looks like the old movies. Uh, Oof, the ships, yeah. even when you look at them, they look like you know models, like plastic models yeah. almost. But in the same time, you know, they they look real and um, how they are placed in space, it, it's very realistic. Um, yeah, just like mind blowing how everything is shot. You know, the director really have uh, has an idea of Star Wars and how he should do this. So it it looks amazing, and I'm not sure how I feel about you know the main character. Uh, I forgot her name. Are you talking uh, about Felicity Jones, or? Yeah, yeah, Felicity? she's not as likable looking as you know. Ray. Uh, Ray, yeah, Ray is a lot more uh, like main female, and mm. uh, you know, Felicity Jones looks more like uh, the other type of a character. And Damn it, I forgot the word. <laughs> Again, um, maybe because she's not really a Jedi or warrior so much like a physical warrior. Maybe she's more of um, that's right, Rogue One. Maybe she's more of just like a pilot, like a pilot fighter. That could also be the case. Maybe she has that kind of a look, right? Like a yeah. pilot look. Okay. Yeah. She looks like more, a pilot. Yeah, kind of like more, you know, regular war, uh, look to her. Okay. I mean, it's not she's not bad or anything. I just mm. don't feel the same likability like I felt with. Uh, Immediately, you know, when I saw Ray on the screen, oh, she, she's yeah. so sweet and beautiful and everything. Absolutely. Uh, but in the same time, that is that is very good because uh, this is taking place uh, years and years before, different characters, different everything. So yes. you'll get to see like a different side from the Star Wars universe. Yeah. Really. So oh, it's yeah. And how, how about Force Whitaker in that role? He would be the black gentleman with the beard and kind of like yeah. the hair is kind of oh I absolutely love Forrest Whitaker I mean oh. yeah he kind of has the ghost dog and everything um, he kind of has that Yoda you can say role almost yes yes the I, wise I, guy yeah you know? the wise guy and I'm I'm not too sure I don't think I really heard him speak in there 
um, he had like one little word, but I, I couldn't hear if he had like a, a British accent like everyone else does. But then again, I mean, if you went by um, Finn, he didn't have a British accent at all either. And then again, also, Lando Carizian didn't have a British accent at all. Contradictory to the fact that um, that uh, uh, Finn, the actor who played Finn, he actually is British and he has a British accent. So they, yeah. they didn't go with his natural accent, you know what I mean? They they made him speak like an American accent, but then the people around them, of course, you know, Ray has a British accent, but he did not. So uh, Yeah, that's very strange how they decide to do that. You have a yeah. British accent, you don't have a British accent. <laughs> yeah. I mean he was a stormtrooper and if you look at the majority of the, the people of the Empire and the and not the Empire necessarily well, the first order, but they're like a spawn off of a uh, Empire. Um, they're British people. They're basically like Nazis and they have like a British accent. So it's kind of strange that he's there and he was taken from birth. He was taken as yeah. a child, so which is strange. <laughs> he grew up over there and he, and he doesn't have the British accent. Oh, and I have yeah. to thank uh, Movie Mike for letting me know that the one who played the the female stormtrooper in the silver, that's... that's oh, that's yeah. yeah. I know. Oh, I know, you know that. that was, yeah. I, that I, news? I, I, that I know news because of for Movie Mike when he told me, so I was like, okay. So, you know, I, when I watched it again, you know, I, I got my Blu-ray over there, and um, I listened to it, and I told my brother, I and mean, I don't know who that is, <laughs> because he doesn't see the show. Oh, well, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I said, yes. okay, yeah. Okay. Captain Phasma. Phasma, yeah, God, that's it, Phasma, Captain Phasma. Oh, you have yeah. a garbage chute, a garbage disposal, and how about a, yeah. a trash compactor? Oh, yeah, just like in the first Star Wars. Oh, man. Yeah, fortunately she wasn't very much in the movie, but uh, I am sure that she's going to appear, you know, later. Yeah, so. it mostly evolved around like Hux, uh, Hux and of course Rylan, or well, not Rylan, Kylo Ren. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. But uh, for this movie, particularly, you know, Rogue One, I think that it's going to be very different movie oh, than yeah. all the rest of Star Wars that we've seen. Oof. And they said that it, it, there was like new planet Jedha. Oh. Which sounds very cool, you sounds know. Like um, that. Jedi, yeah, maybe uh, I've heard something about that is going to be like a Jedi planet. So, if that's the case, that's very interesting. What the hell happened to it? You know? Yeah. Uh, maybe the Death maybe Star it got blown blew it up. up. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm excited for this movie. Um, it's kind of, you know, like sub-movie, it's not the main, you know, Star yeah. Wars. Um, and I'm okay with that. I like that. Yeah, but it still could be one of the best movies ever, you know, if it's done right. Yes. So, no matter if it's a part of, you know, the main episodes or not, it, it's still going to be uh, a great movie, hopefully. So, yes. Look, yeah. This one looks like it's going to be like a science fiction spy thriller. Because, <laughs> because you know she, you know what she's doing. She's like a spy. She has to go in there and infiltrate the empire, and then take the plans, you know, and, and get out. Think James Bond in a science fiction world, but female. Something like that, I guess. Mm. Well, yeah. we'll see. I mean, yeah. I, I can't really say where, you know, what direction they are going to go or anything like that. But um, I'm just, you know, open to whatever it is. Uh, you know, I'm Star Wars fan, but I'm not hardcore. Star Wars fan that I'm going to be mad about every little thing. No, yeah. I'm just going to be, you know, go with an open mind and see how the movie is. Mm -hmm. And I heard that they have like a ton of, you know, problems behind the scenes with the production that the movie was, uh, you know, cut again and then really? some mm -hmm. reshoots and some edit stuff and, and all of that. But hopefully that they they are going to figure it out. Uh, because we don't want to have half of the movie on the floor and the rest of the movie, no. uh, or at least you know, that, yeah, to put combine the, the best. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, if they're gonna cut anything, make it make an uncut version on the Blu-ray. You know what I mean? Or at least put in the extras what was cut. Yeah, hopefully not every movie is going to become like Batman v Superman. And, you know, uh, oh, cut oh, something out and then, and then put it back. Oh, that that yeah. would be like. If if that starts to happen, then oh, that it's this is like the start of it. It started with the Batman vs Superman to to do that. I, I I don't mind. No no, actually, it started with the Lord of the Rings in a way, because they're the ones that you know. If you think about it, you know, Lord of the Rings and you get the extended cut, 
you know, it came it came out even longer than what the film is. Um, I, I didn't mind those, and I, I you know, it's it's kind of cool that they added. Maybe maybe I have to see Batman vs Superman again just to uh, try to pay attention and notice uh, what what the new footage was. Because oh, far as I can a, tell, a ton. I couldn't tell. It, really, it's a ton. No, it's a ton. You see, like uh, it's thirty minutes, Sammy. <laughs> yeah, I, I noticed that, but then I'm looking. What what was added besides the fact that it's like another thirty more minutes? It didn't. It didn't. I couldn't notice anything. Oh, but, Sammy, please! <laughs> but I only saw it one time in theaters. You know, remember that? I only saw it one time in theaters. So I'm I'm really looking for it. You know, and looking for some more like, some more like you know, some more fights and kung fu and stuff. But <laughs> I didn't get any of that. And uh, <laughs> um, but yeah. Yeah, Donnie Yen is um badass. Yeah. Oh yeah, sure. right, getting, yeah. Getting getting back to this, yeah. Donnie Yen. I mean, if if you like, if you've yet to see the Yip Man series. Remember I yeah, shared I mean, the thing with Mike Tyson. It, yeah. You got to start with the first one, though. Otherwise, it's not going to make sense. You just go up to the third one, and then it's not going to make sense. You got to hit the first, and then the second, of course. The second's fantastic, and the third one. I think it was the second one. Yeah, well, he's fighting in the ring, and he's fighting like a whole slew of guys. Like they just kept diff kept putting different fighters on him. He was great in there, and I think he was in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. I can't remember. I know he was in Iron Monkey. Uh, he was in that. He was actually uh, fearless. He have no idea, but he's very yeah. good. So oh. that's the bottom line. He's very good. And Absolutely yes. And he's very fast and looks very young for his age. So yeah, I I cannot believe it. I mean, he he's like an ageless guy. You know, I've I've seen stuff from like in his nineties. Um, if you ever seen also Highlander Endgame with you know Adrian Paul and uh, and Christopher Lambert, they brought them both together in Highlander Endgame with Bruce Payne as a bad guy, and Donnie Yen was in there in there, and he was he was fighting. So. Don't think I saw that. I, I I saw you know the Highlander TV show, but not really the old movies. Yeah, no, this no, this is like in the '90s, and I like where it's like a, I thought you were a man of honor, and then they're fighting. It's like honor is not in the sword. But it's in the man, and then they start going like hand to hand. It was like, oh, I loved it. <laughs> that's Anyways. a very good line, actually. It's yeah. Very wise. Mhm. Mm and that's how it yeah. went. Good. Very good, Sammy. But yeah. I think we can wrap this up. So yeah, overall yeah, thoughts sure. of the new, you know, Rogue One trailer is the first trailer. I think they showed enough, and they didn't spoil uh, spoil anything from the story, from the plot. So that's important. I personally, you know, now switch to the other side. Uh, I don't want to know. It's not like before, like, give me more, give me more. And yeah. when I finally go to the movies and actually see the movie, and I'm like, yeah, I saw this in the trailer. Yeah, I saw this in the yeah. trailer. Yeah, I know what's going on here. You know, I don't want to see that uh, that much, and I don't want to see any movie clips. I'm yeah. going to try to stay away from that because movie clips uh, spoil even more because it's like a whole scene almost yeah. sometimes. Just yeah. watch watch the movie clips after you see the movie. Like once you see the movie, then I, then I'm okay with seeing the movie clips because it's like because you want to see the movie again, but you don't want to pay. But you see yeah. the movie clips, and it's like <laughs> something like that. Yeah. So yeah, overall thoughts, Sammy. Overall thoughts on okay, hold on, let me switch back here. Okay, overall thoughts on Star Wars uh, Rogue One. I'm super excited for it, and it's like we don't have to wait long. It's like August. September, October, November, December. Yeah, four more months. Yeah, four. Yeah, four. <laughs> four more months. You know, like around Christmas time. So yeah, I, I cannot wait. And then once that happens, we just have to wait like what another two, two or three more months for um, episode uh, eight. eight. So yes, and I, I I like the direction that they're kind of going backwards, giving us a feel of the you know back to the original days of the original Star Wars Empire Strikes Back, which to me is still like probably the best. And then um, Return of the Jedi, you know, um, going back to that kind of universe, going back to that world. Who knows? There's probably going to be mention of some of these characters, like like Ben, and um, I, I guess you can't really say Luke yet because you know he hasn't really been kind of discovered on Tatooine. But some of the characters that were you know in Star Wars, you can probably make they'll make reference with it, like Vader being the big one. Looking forward to it. Super stoked. And yeah, what about and you? actually. Yeah, Sammy, absolutely. Uh, sorry to interrupt you because no, you done. said uh -huh. neither, mm. and I like drifted away <laughs> for a second. Oh, oh no, it's okay. Uh, it happens to me all the time. Because no, no, because I, 
I thought about you know how they showed that uh, you know Darth Vader in this trailer. It was mm. just you know his head and his yeah. breathing again. <laughs> and I don't really want to see a lot of him in the trailers, anyways, mm. because I do want to enjoy every second of him on the big screen. So yes. again, I don't want to see this spoiled. So I'm happy that they actually didn't show him this time. I just uh, it's just a big, yeah, good. Yeah, now that we haven't seen Darth Vader for like four movies, uh, like even more actually, I think, like five movies now. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> with, up, uh, with episode three, episode one, two, oh. Oh, four uh, movies, because we didn't see him until the end of Sith, when he was in a costume. Where's Padme? Yeah, episode oh, three. sorry, but you killed her, you were so pissed off. What? But she was alive when I left. No! Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, I really liked that when I was little. Yeah, oh, to yeah. watch that. I really loved it. Uh, although I know that it's kind of lame, but uh, I, I oh, thought that it was appropriate for his character, and he was yeah. immature. Uh, yeah. He was he just was a young, young guy and yeah. immature and all of that. So, and I he was angry and unbalanced and. Just crazy. Yeah. <laughs> He's not going to suddenly become the Vader that we know from Star Wars and Empire and Jedi. The moment they put on the thing, he still was Anakin, still, you know, kind of like, you know, yeah, like the way, you know, the young guy. So, of course, yeah. you know, he's still going to, you know, it's be, be kind of jarring, you know what I mean? He's still, it's something he would say as Anakin outside of the mask. No! You know, I could, I could picture him, I could see it, so. Yeah, no because he's that. also, like I said, unbalanced emotionally, and he's mm. like a like a spoiled brat or something. He's acting so immaturely, yeah. <laughs> and he, he can't he like deal with his feelings. And you know when he realizes what he's done, and it's like I think it's totally appropriate to the character, no matter how lame it may seem to other people. But uh, he is he's that he's a young guy. He's not that Darth Vader that we know that is like 20 years later Darth Vader. You know, no. this is a young guy and the next uh, Darth Vader that is, you know, the mature guy Darth Vader that is totally different person, of course. He's like Absolutely. 40 years old at least, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yes. By the time they reach, uh, you know, the original Star Wars movies. So, normal, yes. I think, for that yes. character. Okay, so yeah, I think that uh, this is going to be big, huge, and awesome, and at least visually, we, we can be sure that it's going to deliver, like, 100%. Yes. Uh, it feels like Star Wars, it feels like classic Star Wars, it doesn't feel anything like the prequels, it doesn't feel yeah. much like Episode 7, because, you know, Episode 7 is much, much later, and yeah. it's normal, you know, to feel like the older movies, because it, it takes place between the older movies. And yeah. so, I think it's great, and I can really feel it as a Star Wars movie, totally. So, let's keep, you know, our fingers crossed that it's going to be oh, yes. very close, as good as Episode 7. Yes, hell yes. Maybe oh. in a different way good, but still very good. Yes. You know? Oh yeah, and I, I'm not expecting any kind of brilliant Chinese Kung Fu lightsaber battles in this one. I'm expecting more of in fighting in the in their X-wings and more blasters being fought. You know, like troops. You know what I mean? Like more firefights and 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 dog fights versus martial arts. Except for the scenes with maybe Dan Yin. Yeah, well, I'm not thinking very much, you know, about the fights. Um, but yeah. as uh, you know, as the yeah, as the movie as a whole. Basically, yeah. oh, that's yeah. what I'm thinking about. So uh, even if it has its own style, which is going to have, you know, its own style, I just hope that it's going to be a very solid, solid movie, but with, you know, real watchability because Star Wars, you know, Episode Seven, I can rewatch it like at least two or three more times. Absolutely. And I can still yes. enjoy it. So I hope that this is going to be one of those movies that you want to go and see it again, like we went and saw it again in the movie theater. I paid for it twice. Yes, and, 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 and you know, if, I, I know you're not a huge Star Wars fan, but I mean, you, you like Star Wars and you like science fiction. Excuse me, I do recommend going back and checking out, a, there's, there's a couple of Corman classics, there's a bunch I know, but a couple I can recommend right off. Uh, check out Star Crash, uh, it's directed by Lu, Luigi, somebody, he's like an Italian director, I think it was like under a false name. 
um, that, and it's uh, David Hasselhoff's first film, I believe, and also has uh, Christopher Plummer in it, and the beautiful um, um, uh, Carol, Carol Monroe, I think her name is Carol Monroe, or Caroline Monroe, Car Carol Monroe, and then the other one is Battle Beyond the Stars, so do check out those films, and Battle Beyond the Stars has George Papard in it, so do check out Star Crash and uh, Battle Beyond the Stars, uh, look them up. And you may you may enjoy them, you know. I, no, like, you, you know, have to Star give Wars me the right. link, Sammy. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll look for it. I did saw some, you know, older movies, uh, like um, there was like a horror science fiction movie. Mm. I think it was called The Critters or something. Oh, Critters! I've I've not seen that yet. I want to oh. see. It. <laughs> wow, Critters! Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Maybe the first horror movie that I ever saw. The second, I think, was. Resident Evil 1, and maybe the third was The Ring. Oh, The Ring. What was the one before The Ring? Les, Les Evil uh, 1? Resident oh, Resident Evil, 1. Evil. Resident Evil 1. Oh, yes. I like that. Yeah. I, I got it right over there, and I feel like I want to pop it on. <laughs> because oh. it's the new Resident Evil film. I enjoyed that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And what do I want to say? Oh, yeah, and something funny, you know, about the critters. That yeah. when I play Destiny, there's um, a particular guys, I mean evil creatures that just uh, start to run right at you, like, right in your face, and I call them the critters. <laughs> Did they, they kind of look like them too? Yeah, you know, I know what they look like. They're like, they're like run like kind of like a ball, not ball, but like almost like a yeah. round shape and small and sharp teeth and. Oh yeah, wow. uh, they absolutely do not look like them, but maybe a little bit in the mouth, in the teeth. <laughs> it's like critters, but with the human uh, alien body or something, you know. Oh jeez. Uh, but they are annoying and dangerous like the critters, you know. They are yeah. right after you and they attack you yeah. right in your face. And I'm oh, like geez. taking my blasting hand and just like, talk to the hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. I'm glad you've gone back to uh, <laughs> Destiny, a game I've yet to be. Is that available on PC as well? Unfortunately not. It's yeah, such a yeah. great game to be on PC. It's such yeah. a great game to be on PC, but it's not. But hopefully, uh, someday, someday, they are not saying absolutely no, but I and, don't know. And I wanted to say, I guess the critters are a kind of creatures you probably do not want to give a kiss. <laughs> absolutely. God, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Nope. Mouth Definitely of razors. Not. Yeah. Yeah, so that's it pretty much. Something to add, Sammy? Uh, nope. As I said, super stoked for it. And I'm glad they're kind of going back to, I guess, almost like the beginning. And we get to see more dog fights and, 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 and firefights. Um, so you see a different side to Star Wars where it's more heavy focus on that versus all the lightsaber fights, which I still absolutely love. I love sci science fiction in general. It's my second favorite genre, you know, first being fantasy and sword and sorcery. Like I said, I love things like Star Crash, Forbidden World, uh, you know, Forbidden Planet. That's like an old Leslie Nielsen one. I love stuff like that, old sci-fi stuff, The Day the Earth Stood Still. So I'm going to love this. How about you, Gary? Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. But um, it's definitely one of my most, you know, anticipated movies of the year. Like, I, I don't know what's left. But it's oh, definitely like on top Infinity, somewhere. Infinity War. Sixty plus guys and uh, sixty. Yeah, Infinity War. It's gonna have six sixty plus Marvel hero, Marvel superheroes. You know, Captain, all the Avengers, and we're gonna hopefully, God willing, they're gonna put in because there's sixty plus. Doctor Strange is gonna be in there. The Defenders, <gasps> oh, yeah, which is Jess great. Jones, Jess Jones with Luke Cage, Daredevil, all those guys, Iron Fist, all together, and with those actors, Brian Cox and all that, and you know, Jess Jones and all that. All together with the Avengers. How awesome is that? 60 plus heroes and Doctor Strange, and hopefully they'll in Spider-Man. Hopefully they'll be able to 60 plus, 60 plus heroes. Hopefully we're gonna see Howard the Duck. I love. That. Oh wait a second, Sammy, are you sure? Mm-hmm. Absolutely positive. And in case you're wondering, remember that duck you saw at the end. This is this is what it is. Hold on. Let me go ahead and get this. Oh now, God, because I didn't hear that. You know they're going to put the TV heroes in the movies. At least not yet. Oh, but keep in mind, this is going to be like next next year, so it's probably you know they will get that established. And there's the next series, Infinity Wars, so um, I, I do know that it's going to be 60 plus Marvel heroes. So I mean, they're going to be hard pressed if they don't use the Defenders to you know to put as part of that 60, because you have the Avengers, you know we know who they are, 
but that's that doesn't even come close to 60. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got to put the oh, Guardians of the Galaxy is going to be in there. You can uh, put them all in the blender, and oh, oh my God, <laughs> I'm heart attack because I'm just thinking about it. Oh yeah, very I exciting. The but shirt over there. I have to really check who is 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 you know in that movie because I, I'm going to be surprised if they put Daredevil in it. Really? Oh God, willing to, he was kind of supposed to be in um, Civil War, but I guess it was too late. You know what I mean? They had already filmed it. You know, there was you know yeah. he was doing his season one or whatever, and, and starting on season two, I guess, and they couldn't they couldn't integrate him in, but that to showcase that it's part of the universe. And you've heard reference in in Daredevil. When like when Luke Cage also said and and in Jess Jones, okay, so there's there's the Boy Scout, there's a big green guy, and then there's me, and then you. I know, you know I have, know. Yeah, see how I, they have I the heard. reference to, and the yeah. attack in New York. I love it. Absolutely, Sammy. I know, but let's uh, finish this hangout. Yeah, I'm done. Uh, <laughs> it should it you know as always it should have been very brief, but uh, as always we uh, gone off topic like totally off. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so it's okay. People get a little bit more than what you expect here with our hangouts. You get a little bit more information than what what the title implies. Yeah, so let's okay. say we are just you know excited about too many things at once. No, <laughs> yeah, next time we have to do another one with all those Marvel guys. Maybe with Comic Defender and you know Trey Passer and the, the comic the comic geeks out there, Malik X and yeah. I always love yeah. rolling with that crew. You guys are like really awesome to to be in a hangout with. I gotta tell you. Totally. So yeah, uh, and I'm trying to contact Devon for hopefully for tomorrow. So Devon, if you're watching this, please, yeah, please write Devin. to me. Yeah, yeah. please. I, we Devin? want you in that hangout. Please, we want you yeah. in that hangout. Please. Like he disappeared <laughs> off the face of the earth. Um, but I, yeah. he does comment. I, I see that. But then uh, maybe you're not familiar. But uh, uh, comics defender, you know, Devon. Uh, I, I did some DC stuff too. I know you absolutely love. Like BVS and all that, and killing the killing joke and Suicide Squad. I got my reviews of that too. So if you want to swing by my channel and check it out. Oh yeah, <laughs> of course. Okay. Okay, okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you to Sammy for this hangout, of course, as always. Awesome times. Uh, yes. And yeah, till our next hangout, guys, and tomorrow. whatever videos we come up with. Yeah, what, what tomorrow? Remember the, the Suicide Squad thing. With... I know, but you know, oh. I don't want to promise. Uh, oh, okay, now. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, so let's just say that hopefully we're going to do this because if we're going okay. to say that we are going to do this, and something oh, yeah. will happen. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? But potentially, so, okay. Potentially, it's possible, you know, okay. for us to have, and if everything are, I you know, if everyone are everyone able to come. It. At the same time, Even, we can do this, yeah. Because I know Trey Passes so far is, is absolutely on board, and so is Malik X. It's just Dev, Devin. So even if it's just, yeah, wait, wait, one, two, three, four. Even if it's just us four, it's good. Yeah, yeah, but I really hope that Devin yeah. comes as but well. I do hope, I really hope to God that Devin does come, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you again, and till next time with Gary Reviews and Falagar 517 or the next channel, Archmage yeah. Falagar, and you know, with me, Gary Reviews and Gary Gaming.